In today's lessons in looking for Pythagoras, we're in problem 1.2, and the Euclid City Council is trying to create a park, and they've decided that the point 0.11 and the point 0.42, these two points, are going to be vertices or corners of the park. And they want to make the shape of the park different geometric shapes. And the, the first shape we want to try to make is a square. So this would be one side or one set of corners, vertices, the, the word vertices, I'll put it up here, vertices, is just another word for corners or a corner. So these two vertices are corners of a square. Now sometimes it's hard to see the square from this, but I'm going to go ahead and just connect the two points and know that that could be one side of the square. And being that it would be a square, it has to have four sides. And we know that a square has a 90 degree angle on the side. And so what I'm really doing is looking for the first point. If I think of this as just a straight, edge and really I actually have a, a square. It's not quite the right size but if you think of putting that square in there somewhere and where would the first spot be where I could line that up and actually make a square. So I think about where it sits. And it looks to me like if I went to the 4, so 0, 4 as one corner. So 0, 4 is the coordinate of that corner and then the other coordinate up here at 3, 5. It looks to me like if I connect those points that I could make a square for the park shape with those two other vertices or corners for the park. So it looks like 0, 4, and 3, 5 would give me one possible set of corners for this park. Now, in this problem, we want to actually see if there's more than one. So if you think about it, I went this direction, but what if I went the other direction, kind of did the same thing, and thought about where, where would, if that was this side of the square, then where would the other two corners be? And it looks to me like if I come down this way, the first time I run into an intersection is right there at 2, negative 2. So there's another vertices of a square, I think. And then if I did the same thing, kind of came down the other side here until I ran into a corner. And over here at 5, negative 1, I also have another, I think, corner of a square. And I can test that simply by connecting the dots. It looks like it's in line with the square above. And right in here now, if I connect all my dots, all my vertices, the corners, then I have another possibility. So there's really two possibilities. If these two points are on one of the sides of the square. Now there's actually another possibility if these two points are actually like this. If you think about the square, the square I could actually be looking at this corner and this corner of the square. And so one more possibility for a set of vertices. If you think about this one, it looks like right, right there is a possible vertices and on the other side right here is a possible vertice. So my other one more set is at 2, 3 and down here at 3, 0. And if I connect those 
lines, see that we have this third potential square park for the town of Euclid. So they really have three choices if they want the park to be square and the original points 1, 1 and 4, 2 to be two of the four corners of the square because they could be the corners that are connected or they could be in this case like this square the corners that are across from one another. So now you can see that I have this square with 0, 4 and 3, 5 as vertices. I have the lower square at 2, negative 2 and 5, negative 1 or I have this smaller square in the middle at 2, 3 and 3, 0 and that gives me a number of possibilities for the park to be a square. Now if I want the square to be other shapes, which in this problem I'm asked to do, it, and, and it, if I look at another map of the town of Euclid and these other points, what if I wanted that shape to be a rectangle? And so now, and a non-square rectangle because a square is a special rectangle, but in this case if I wanted the park to, to be a rectangle. And so if these two corners of the park, and there are actually a, quite a few possibilities for this one, because I could extend the rectangle either direction, but one of the most common ways to do is just simply to use these two points right here. So if I use 4, 1, and 1, 2, I can make a pretty simple, fairly small, so this park isn't very big, but it is a rectangle. And in this case I did like I did in the first problem with the corners actually being on opposite sides of the park as opposed to connecting them as a whole side of the park. So there's one possible rectangular park. Now what if I wanted to instead of using 1 and 1 and 4 and 2 as corners across from each other, what if I wanted to instead think of them as a side of the park? So if I connect them like I did the original square. And again, really a, a rectangle is just a, a long square, elongated square. So if I think of this square and I wanted to extend it further this direction or further the other direction, the idea is that if I could find a point somewhere down here, like that's in the right line with this, then I think I might be able to make a rectangle. And so it's part of the challenge is trying to make sure am I, you know, I need a, a nice corner here and I need to run into something. Now if you remember the original square actually one of the points was there but if I just extend it and go to the next place that I can cross a line, now it's going to be a pretty big park but if I go all the way to that point, remember a rectangle has four right angles. So again, I'm trying to make sure that I have a right angle. And over down here, I'm going to have, end up having a right angle. Up there, I'm going to have a right angle. So sometimes using another square. So the question would be, where on this side am I going to run into the next spot? So it gets a little bit challenging. I want to make a nice square corner. You can see it's not quite lined up. Make sure I'm on the screen here so you can see where I got the first point down there. So lining it up, and it looks like if I get it lined up right, it should be right down about there for the other corner of this rectangular park. And it's a very large park. In fact, it's twice as big as the square park because what I basically did was took the square park and then extended it further down this direction. And so now you can see I have a second possible 
rectangular park with coordinates way down here at 3, negative 5, and over here at 6, negative 4. So those would be the vertices of a rectangular park. So you can see that rectangular park is much larger than my original rectangular park, but they're both rectangles, and so I have now my square parks and my rectangular park. And then I'm asked to make a triangular park. And a triangular park is not too hard. If, if this is already connected, if I just connect it this way, You can see a triangular park, I just need one more vertices, a right triangle. And so, and really I could just connect it right there at four, one. And I got a nice right triangle. In fact, what I'm really going to do is I'm going to take my original rectangular park and I'm going to cut it into two parks. And then I'm going to actually have a right triangle there. Or if I put a corner there at 1, 2, these are like addresses or street corner names, two street corners, corner of 1 and 2, and I'm going to make a second right triangle. There's the right angle in the corner there. So now I have a right triangle park here, a right triangle park here. This is a pretty small park. One of the smaller parks that I have made to this point, but I still am able to have a right triangle park, and that allows me to have the different kinds of parks that I've been asked to do in this problem. Now, what if I wanted a much larger right triangle park? So, and if you remember what I did here is I took a rectangle basically and cut it in half. So if I go back to my rectangular park, I actually can turn this one into two triangles as well. And the easy way to do that is I'm just going to go back to this one. Because remember, a triangle just has three sides. So right there like that. So I could use six, negative four, and here's one right triangle park. Or I could turn this one just like that. The right angle right there. So you can see I have this park here. With this triangle. That's a triangular right triangle park. Or I have this one here. So they kind of cross over. But there's two separate or two different parks. So all I did was take my rectangular park, my big rectangular park, and cut it into two triangles. Because a triangle, especially a right triangle, if I have a nice rectangle, I make half of that, and I have now I have two rectangular parks, two triangular parks. Now, there's one more park that I need to do, and that park is a parallelogram. And parallelograms are, are not too hard to do. Parallelogram, opposite sides, are parallel. If this is one of the pairs of sides or one of the sets of points, and I just connect them like this. So there's lots of places I could do this. So if I just go right to here and right to here, connect those, because all that I need for a par parallelogram are opposite sides the same length. and opposite sides parallel. So there's one parallelogram, and my coordinates are 0, 2, and 3, 3. Or I could have, I'm going to make one that's a little bigger over here. Let's see if I can make a Parallelogram that's 
park to be a little bit bigger. That park isn't quite big enough. All the way to there. And this one's going to go all the way to the edge of town. There. So a little bit bigger park. So parallelograms, there are a lot of possibilities for this one if that's two of the corners. So right here at four, negative two, and seven, negative one. So my parallelogram, lots of possibilities for parallelogram parks. Could have used these two points right here and here, or these two right here and here. So again, lots of different possibilities for parks. So depending upon the shape of the park, we can fit it into the town of Euclid just using the various shapes. And kind of the idea here is really understanding shapes as well as the whole idea of, of vertices or a corner and how to use the coordinate plane to locate those points. You can do that. You're doing pretty well in this particular lesson. So we got all our different parks. We got our, we got our square parks. And we got our, a rectangular park. And we actually took a rectangular park, big rectangular park, and cut it into two tri right triangle parks. We had our other rectangle park, we cut into two right triangles. So all of our different parks, our parallelogram parks, different shapes, different geometric shapes, we've now put into parks in the town of Euclid.